Purdue University's construction program is considered the best program in the world. I think CEM is a great major and I'm glad I chose it. The skill sets that they learn when they come out of Purdue translate very well into the work environment. The internship combined with the classroom experience is outstanding. We seek and find a problem and then we find a solution to the problem. Very good program to be in with job security coming out. Purdue University's Construction Engineering and Management program is ABET accredited and continues to lead the way among construction engineering programs around the world through its uncompromising commitment to excellence, experiential learning, and innovation. So you can kind of see what's going on. While CEM faculty are some of the best in their fields of expertise, the program recently added to its teaching arsenal by establishing the Hancher Distinguished Fellow Program. The Hancher Fellowship brings industry experts into the classroom for three to five year teaching appointments to share their experience and knowledge with future leaders in the industry. And I think contractors become careless. In 2010, Bob Bowen, founder and chairman of Bowen Engineering Corporation, was the first Hancher Fellow. He taught a class about leadership and advanced project management. The quality and, and the stature of our young people at Purdue are really outstanding, the best I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of young people from around the country. The kids are sharp and they're doing a great job. The Hancher Fellowship is named in honor of former professor Don Hancher, who made a significant contribution in the early years of Purdue's Division of Construction, Engineering, and Management in Purdue's College of Engineering. It's a great way to honor Don's legacy and to continue to try and attract the best students to bring the best professors to operate at a high level of excellence. So, you know, the fellowship is just one way to further that cause. The Construction, Engineering, and Management program was established in 1976 under Marion Scott. Another professor who played a key role in the birth of the program was John Havers, who became its second head in 1979. Havers was instrumental in creating the internship program. I believe that we are the first people who had a construction engineering internship. It worked out probably better than they deserved. The internship experience, which requires each student to work at a sponsor company for three summers, has become the bedrock of the CEM program. Summer one, the students actually work with the tools, with their hands, out with our mechanics and foreman and superintendents on the floor. Summer two, uh, more in uh, project management, and summer three in estimating. And it gives them a look at all three pathways, so it's pretty clear by the time they graduate which opportunity they would like to seize upon when they graduate from Purdue. You have four 1600 amp switch gears right here. Grant Booker interned with Shambaugh and Son at a hospital site in Fort Wayne. We get to learn to really deal and interact with people. It's not just how we're supposed to deal with people in textbooks, not just systems and textbooks, being out in the field, you get a little more savvy, you get a lot more common sense out here in the field. Heath Yarger interned with Pepper Construction at that same Fort Wayne site. The internship experience is a very big help going back to the classroom. You hear terms in class, you maybe not know what they were before, so you hear them here in the field and experience them, you know firsthand what they are and it's easier to understand. Alexandria Henry interned with Turner Construction at the Mackey Arena project on the Purdue campus. I've done price markup, making sure prices are correct, and I've also worked with the contractors on making sure all of their information is sent in to us and processed to the designers. I walk around, see what the progress has been, speak to the contractors, see what's changed, have they had any problems. What you learn is valuable. You actually took away information that you can apply in real world. Nick Wells interned with Walsh Construction at an interstate highway project in Indianapolis. I've been doing bridge and sound wall surveying, going out there, laying out points. Coming out here, I didn't know really what to expect. And then on a job site, I, I enjoy it a lot. Laura Waltz also interned with Walsh at the same Indianapolis Highway Project. The thing I like best about these internships is that every day I get to do something new. I do a lot of work in the office, just going through paperwork, looking at cost reports, estimates, but every day there's somebody needs me to run an errand or run out and do something in the field. The combination of the CEM academic and internship requirements 
give graduates a leg up when it comes to entering the industry and immediately adding value to companies. You come out with this credential of being a Purdue Construction Engineering and Management graduate and it's, uh, it's a uh, benefit in two ways. One, you aspire to be one of the top people and two, you are well prepared to go out and make your marks. And you have to be able to tell your story and your story is that I have the technical background and I have the hands-on experience and that sets you apart and that's what companies are looking for. Companies that hire our students know that these students are very well trained, they're very well grounded in theory and they have the necessary experience to hire them right after graduation. The opportunities in the construction industry going forward are huge. There's never been a better day to join the construction industry and the best conduit to get there is through the CEM school. Have a grateful day.